This is Winning Cures Everything. Here's your host, Gary Seegers. Hey, hey, this is Winning Cures Everything. I am, in fact, your host, Gary Seegers. You can follow me on Twitter at GaryWCE. You can follow the show at Winning Cures or on Facebook, facebook.com slash Winning Cures Everything, or just go to the website, winningcureseverything.com. It's got everything you need to know over there. You can subscribe on YouTube. Subscribe to whatever your favorite podcast app is. Just type in Winning Cures Everything. It will pop right up. Today is Thursday, February 21st. Let's go on and give you the rundown for what we're going to talk about. Uh, Auburn and Georgia are moving the date of their game. I will discuss that for just a moment. Uh, The way too early betting lines for non-conference games in college football have come out. Uh, A little college basketball betting tips, uh, which I don't know why you would ever want tips from me because I went two and two again last night. And then I've got uh, I've got five college basketball gambling picks for you for this evening. Let's go on and jump in. The show, as always, brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They have got six wonderful, amazing sports books down there. You can find more information about all six of them over at tunicatravel.com. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Topic number one, Auburn and Georgia are moving the date of their game. And it starts in 2020. And what is happening here is they used to face each other two weeks before Alabama and Auburn would play. And Auburn has been complaining about it because it is too difficult to have to play Georgia and Alabama within three weeks of each other. And they have to play both of them either on the road or at home. Uh, Last year, 2017, Auburn won both games at home. Georgia was ranked number one when they came in. Alabama was ranked number one when they came in. Auburn beat the uh, above, uh, excuse me, both of them, and had a chance to make it to the college football playoff, even with two losses. They were in a prime position. All they had to do was beat Georgia again in the SEC championship game. I have never heard of a conference team complaining about where their schedule is or how their schedule is set up, and the conference actually okaying the switch. It's a little surprising to me. Uh, The next thing that they want is they want the Georgia and Alabama games to be uh, offset, right? One year is at Georgia, one year is at Alabama, instead of both at home and both away. Now, I can understand this, but you still got LSU. You still got Texas A&M. No, they're not on the level that Alabama and Georgia are right now, but Georgia just got to this level two years ago. Why did this become such a big thing? I'm just a little bit concerned that if the SEC starts playing into demands or starts playing into trying to make everybody happy, at what point is nobody happy? If you try to please everybody, you please nobody. I I don't... Fine, if this is what they want to do. I think this is great. Obviously, October SEC football has been lacking here lately. An Auburn-Georgia matchup in October could be fun. But I think it might set a precedent that we don't necessarily want to see. Maybe that's just me. I might be wrong on this. You let me know in the comments. Uh, The way too early betting lines for non-conference college football games for 2019. Brett McMurphy posted this. Uh, They are from uh, Colin from the Action Network. And what Colin is is a college football predictive analyst. Uh, His name's Colin Wilson. Uh, His betting lines are LSU minus 8 at Texas in the second game of the year, Uh, Clemson minus 20.5 at home against A&M, Georgia minus 10.5 at home against Notre Dame. Michigan minus 28 at home against Army. Ohio State minus 18 at home against Cincinnati. That was that one looked a little low to me. Maybe that's just me. Penn State minus 7.5 at home against Pittsburgh. Uh, we're going to have to see what happens with Penn State's quarterback situation before, before we know whether that's real or not. Uh, Oklahoma minus 12 at UCLA. That seems a little bit short. But uh, Oklahoma not returning a lot of their offensive linemen. They've got Jalen Hurts at quarterback. Uh, 
one of our videos the other day, I said that they had their offensive line coming back and that they had Rodney Anderson. Anderson went to the NFL, and most of the offensive line is gone. I was wrong. My apologies. Either way, Oklahoma minus 12 at UCLA seems about right. Stanford minus 3 at Central Florida. That could end up being a lot of fun. Neutral site games. They've got Florida State minus 5.5 against Boise and Jacksonville. I think I would probably have to go with Boise on this one. It seems a little surprising that Florida State would be favored by 5.5 points when they were putrid last year. And they've only got one scholarship quarterback. A little surprising. Florida minus 8.5 against Miami. Uh, that's not super surprising. Miami, no offense. we got to see what Manny's going to do with, with that team. And then Auburn minus 1.5 against Oregon. And Washington State minus 14 against Houston, who are now led by Dana Holgerson from West Virginia. That could end up being a lot of fun. Mike Leach and Dana Holgerson together. Uh, whatever the over is, probably going to take it. I mean, that thing would probably have to be 80 for me to not take that. I guess it depends on whether or not Derek King comes back for Houston, but I would imagine that Houston offense will be rolling. Washington State got a transfer, a grad transfer quarterback in. Going to be a lot of points in that game. Washington State minus 14. Might be too many points. I mean, we'll see. But either way, it's fun to go on and start talking about this. I know it's only February. We have months and months and months and months to go. But the early lines are always interesting to see where people's heads are regarding these teams coming up this season. We haven't even gotten into spring practice yet. We will get there eventually. We're, we're going to talk about that. Uh, college basketball betting tips. The Action Network had a really uh, interesting article about how you need to back losing teams with bad against the spread records. Once you get into late February and March, uh, th and this is per Bet Labs, right? So Bet Labs, uh, uh, an interesting analytical system. Uh, you can get a subscription to it and all this, but what they found out was teams that have a really bad, like losing against the spread record, they are, and there's a, a set number to this, but teams that fit in that criteria, they're 193, 131, and 10. That's almost 60% against the spread since 2005 when it's based on a bad against the spread team against a good one in late February and March. So the good teams that are playing bad teams basically don't have the same motivation against the bad teams. And the bad teams are still fighting for something, I guess some kind of respect, whatever. It's it's kind of interesting to look at. So using that, uh, there were a couple of picks tonight that I'm going to use that on. Uh, I've got five sides tonight. I'm just going against the spread on all of these. I went two and two last night. I cannot seem to get past two wins. I don't know what in the hell is going on, but we're doing it tonight. We're getting to three and two at least. I'm hoping for four and one. I feel good about these. Let's go on and jump in on them. Here are the five games that I am taking this evening. Southern Utah, minus two and a half. Weber State, minus one. Western Carolina, plus 16 and a half. Youngstown State plus 14, and Connecticut plus 6. That is your five games. As always, you can find the picks over at winningcureseverything.com slash gambling-picks, or just go to winningcureseverything.com, look up in the navigation bar, and hit gambling picks. Or if you're watching on YouTube, down in the description, we got the link right there for you. So as always, share the show out, tell your buddies about it, leave us some reviews on the podcast, subscribe to the podcast, subscribe to YouTube, like us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. We appreciate you guys for always sticking with us. We will see you again tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.